Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Thanks for stopping in for another uh, wine review. So uh, first, we're going to try to make these a little shorter, getting a little long. All right, so let's go ahead and just get right into it. Uh, we've got the Starling Castle Riesling. Uh, it is out of the Rheinhessen, Rheinhessen, I'm sorry, which um, if you guys remember, uh, I talked about the Rheinhessen was uh, in uh, the southern west, southern southwestern part of Germany. Uh, it's near Frankfurt. This, you know, most of these areas are right around that near the Frankfurt area. Uh, it's along the Rhine River, and uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, a Riesling, and uh, it's not the uh, it's not the table wine, not the tafel vine. Tafelwein quality uh, that we had last week, but it's uh, it's the Kvat. Uh, I'm gonna mess this up again. Kvatatzwein, okay, which which means quality wine in, in English or in German. It's German for quality wine, so it's like the, the entry level um, kind of good stuff. So we got this at Costco for nine dollars ninety nine cents, and uh, let's go ahead and check it out. It's kind of cool too, you know. You can see I don't know, on the camera you can, but there's the little castle. Uh, they said they got the name because there's a bunch of starlings, birds that fly around the vineyard, so that's what they named the castle after. They also make a um, uh, Gewurztraminer. Okay, so I'm getting some floral elements, a little bit of fruit too, nothing specific though. I would say as far as a fruit aspect. It's more of a, a berry or a grape, you know, grapes really. But not in that Welch's grape juice type of uh, meaning. tasty. Um, then we get some sweetness. Um, it's definitely a sweeter wine. It's got a higher residual sugar than the last um, the reason we had. It's pretty tasty. It's got uh, 48 grams per liter of residual sugar. I think that was about it's about 14 or 15 grams more than than the last one we had. Eight, well, according to the website, it was 8.5 percent alcohol. Let's see what it says on the actual label. Because I'm not getting much alcohol. It's 9.5 percent. It's kind of funny because these are the stats for the 2007. And this is 2007. Um, no, I don't see the. Didn't have it on the front, but it is 2007. They just have it on the back, really small. Um, and according to the website, seven grams of acid per liter. Um, it's definitely refreshing. I said earlier today uh, on my personal Twitter account, maybe it was the 1337 one, well, I don't remember. I got two accounts and I sometimes confuse what I put on one. Um, it's going to be hot here in San Francisco. It's be 100 degrees. This is an excellent wine to drink uh, for that. It's really light. Uh, it's very refreshing. It's not overly sweet. I've had other Rieslings that are overly sweet. And this is definitely not that. Uh, I think it has a great balance between a little bit of acidity, a little bit of sweetness. I don't get a ton of um, complexity though, but you know it might be just that the flavors and the aromas in here are just ones I don't encounter very often, so I can't really identify what they are. Okay, I'm starting to get a little more tartness now. Um, so you're that apple-y, kind of that tart apple, and that's really nice. I like that. I like the green apple, tart green apple type of thing. Um, 
Let's see what else. Uh, score. I think I'm gonna, I, I like this. I like this a lot. I think I'll give it an 87. I think it's um, an excellent uh, little little summer wine to have. I mean, yesterday was the first day of summer, so kind of fitting. And uh, yeah, so let's see what else. Uh, I got my timer going. How much more time? Oh, I got plenty of time. Let's talk. All right. So um, just want to say, you know, thank you for uh, coming in and, and stopping by with all that. Um, we're getting some good stuff. Uh, I've got some, hopefully, some good things happening this week. Uh, Going to talk to some people, so let's see what we go with with the website. Um, I'm going to try to lay off on the whole spend money thing, so you won't be hearing me say that as much. But friend me up, you know, friend me up on Twitter, friend me up on Facebook, uh, send me emails. Uh, I'm starting to make a list of wine suggestions, so hopefully we'll get those incorporated soon. Like I said, I got a ton of wine right now to uh, to, to review over the next couple weeks, so. Um, I'll see about trying to insert some of those suggestions in there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, comments. I had somebody do a comment uh, about the other Riesling. Actually, I think he's one of my newest followers on Twitter. And he did it in German. And sorry, I don't really know German well enough to read it. And, and I tried Babelfish to, to translate it. And it you know, Babelfish didn't really do a great job. It, half the stuff was still in German. So I couldn't quite tell what the point was of the comment. Hopefully it was, hey, you know, there are better reasons out there. and, and Or um, maybe it was uh, saying, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. And that could be true. So, um, but I do appreciate the comments. I do read them. Um, I know people are going to the forums, but they won't start anything yet. So maybe I'll start one up for you. Uh, tomorrow will be sommelier school. We're going to go ahead and start with uh, one of the regions in France. I haven't figured out which one we're going to start with. But that's probably going to be a long one. And realize those things are going to be pretty long. Um, they're going to stretch to 30 to 40, 30 minutes, maybe 45 minutes, you know, depending on what's going on. Like with France, it'll probably take a month to go through France. Just, just saying. I mean, <laughs> Bordeaux alone could take two weeks um, because we may, we may concentrate on left bank and then right bank or whatever. Uh, Burgundy, another thing, it could take a couple weeks to do Burgundy just because it's not just, you know, one little tiny region. I mean, it's, it's a pretty long region. There's lots of little sub-regions in there. Um, so that may take a couple weeks. And uh, then the other ones, you know, Loire Valley, the Rhone, uh, Champagne, you know, they may take, you know, this could take a two, this take a two months just to do France alone if I'm trying to do this, you know, one region at a time. So, um, but we're going to do that. Screw caps, by the way. They're good. Vacuum's better. Um, I guess that's it. Thanks for stopping in. And I'm going to try to make these things under 10 minutes so that uh, I can actually get them on YouTube and people can watch them. And you're not stuck there listening to me babble on for inane stuff. All right, that's going to be it. And we'll see everybody again next time.